I'm a necromancer. I can bring back dead aliens and they will serve me. Do I need to cackle whilst I'm doing it? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to try it out. But that... Well, I'm bringing them back to life. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad thing in of itself. I think it's more the they will then serve me aspect of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds more than a little useful, but it also sounds a little dark, weird. I mean, I'm saying that. And I glance around and realise that my entire life at the moment is dark and weird. But, you know, bringing things back to life and making them serve me... I'm going to cackle, aren't I? I just... I just know it. Yeah, it is pretty impressive always gives you a bit of a boost, doesn't it? Start of a new journey, oh, even though God. in this case... Oh, okay, never mind. We'll talk. Okay. How's my power doing? Not great. Is someone defending us? Probably. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, let's just destroy him, and, right, got it, yes, missiles on us, okay, you interrupted, oh yeah, we definitely got bounty defenders, don't we, we definitely got bounty defenders. You know what? Fine, whatever. You'll get your turn soon enough. Oh yeah, yeah, totally, 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 totally gonna get my turn very, very soon. Absolutely. Totally. Totally. Very, very soon. Um Let's have a think. Do I wanna take you I'm gonna take a little bit off there. I want EM weapons eventually. Uh and I'll get ready to Okay. Engines maybe? Let's just take this guy out. We'll just take this guy out. And we'll start with his weaponry. And... <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Whoa, they got their act together pretty quickly, didn't they? Okay. 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 Let's take... Nice. What about his engines? That's what I want. Here we go. And... Come on. You know what? Maybe we can help it a little bit with this. Okay. Oh, whoa. Come on, take his engines out before... Going in, going in! Oh, you didn't need your little engine, did you? <laughs> nice one, Sam. Right, yeah, I was about to say... Time to cycle the airlock and move. We're going to be heading to the Jemison outpost once this is done. We could have just blown it up. Okay, don't be snippy. We do need the extra resources. We're heading... We're heading back, once this is all over. Okay, can I make them all? Drop their weapons. Okay. 
Right, yeah, we're definitely heading back to the Jemison outpost, and all these resources you're mocking might be the difference between life and death. I am now completely convinced that armor piercing is the way to go, especially versus the Starborn. So I am going to go back and work on my weapon mod skills. And get as much armor piercing as humanly possible. Because right now, believe it or not, in spite of normally me wanting to prioritize... Oh god, what the hell? Ship combat. When it comes to the Starborn... Okay, does that stop them? Are they all just... Well, okay, no, they drop the weapons, but they're not peaceful, are they? They're not peaceful? I don't think they're peaceful. I mean... Okay. Does he look peaceful? Oh, he's peaceful. Yeah, definitely. I mean, even against these guys, armor piercing, gonna be useful. All right, gonna be useful. So we're going back to Jemison. We're getting every weapon we've got, including yours, armor piercing. Okay, I've got the skill points for it. We've now got resources for it. All right. Yeah, it sucks when people do that, doesn't it, eh? Oh, yes. This is... This is the way to go. All right. Yeah. And that thing that makes them put down their weapons... Overall, that's pretty damn useful. Okay, I guess this means I can just... Can I... Can I... Wait, get up there now! Get up there now! While they've all got their weapons put away and seem completely confused and helpless. And then... Finish them off! Nice! Wow! Yeah, against these guys, I don't feel like I need any help anymore. I don't think I'm going to need better weapons, but it's those Starborn. And I think we have to accept, once we get to the last resting place of the Pilgrim, we're probably, probably going to have an issue. And I want all the armor piercing. Okay, next stop, the eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you scan away, scan away. I'm just gonna boost off. No, 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 I'm, uh, I'm gonna be going to a friend's, uh, thanks anyway. All right. <laughs> Let's go see Vlad. Vladimir, we have returned. We found another couple of temples, including one that you... Pl there you are. Been washing red here and there all over the station. Grim work. Yeah. Yeah. Never minded the solitude before, but chasing more ghosts than usual. Every noise seems to set the blood running. Right, well, I found the temple you pointed me to, and I found another one by sheer luck. Wondering if you had any more. Nothing yet. Still poring over the charts. Okay. All right, well. The spanner's torque is what the eye needs now. We'll fix our good as new. 
I've probably got some more survey and data the for you. Darkness gets lit, just the candle more. Maybe this will help. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I've got a fair amount actually. I tell you what, take it all. See if you can make anything of that. All right. I'm going to be heading out to the um, last resting place of the pilgrim. And Vladimir, I don't know, you've probably got the message. We're going to be holding a funeral for Sarah in a few days, so keep your ears on the comms. Okay, right. I'm still a while away from unlocking the last rank of persuasion, and there's still nothing else here I want to take just to get to ship command, so at least that makes it easy to spend the points on weapon engineering. So, let's rank three. I need to craft 30 weapon mods to unlock the next one. It's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. Okay, there's something wrong with my ears. Uh, oh, G just, 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 do you hear? Yes. Give me. I am always willing to carry an extra weapon or two. Oh, you want? Or three. Oh. I can do that. I can get you I can get you some other weapons. I was gonna take this one, the refined Grendel, but you know what? I can I can I can upgrade a few for you. Definitely. I'll take a look at what we've still got in the cargo hold. In the meantime, let's see what we can now research. We now have muzzle mods. Oh, I need special projects for this one. I haven't unlocked that anyway. That's going to unlock with the one beginning with A. I forgot what it's called. The one that gives me extra power in the ship. Uh, right, magazines and mods. Sorry, and battery mods. Okay, so Andreja's weapon already had armor-piercing rounds, but I can definitely upgrade it with a few other things. Okay, that is it. That is the last one. Do I want to continue adding mods to this? Not yet. I, I'm not really using that weapon anyway. So, to be honest, I should hey, probably... Okay, I've made you a few modifications, but we're going we're gonna to hold off transferring those weapons to you because I may be able to upgrade them further. Now... What am I putting back? Despondent Assassin. I'm leaving that here. This is for Andreja. And I think I'm going to leave the coachman. I can't get armor-piercing slugs on it. So I'm thinking I change to the mag shot. Because I've got armor-piercing on that. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I like the idea of it. It does a lot of damage. It's not very... A long range, but then neither's a shotgun, but it does a lot of damage. Not quite as much as the shotgun, but probably should be able to fire through armor. Just want to try it out anyway. So, and the rest of the things, they will probably get upgraded. Okay, so, I'm now... I so need this one, but I, I mean, I'm going to unlock this one at the same time as I unlock a Neutronic Fusion. Okay, last rank... Craft master level weapon mods. Oh, you know, I'm so close. To, I'm so close to being able to upgrade the spacesuit as well. Right. Oh. Um. And. Oh, last synapse alpha. For now, let's see. There's at least three new things I can do. That's blocks because I don't have special projects. So is that. We've we've only got... Oh, receiver mods is actually the one I was really looking for. So, okay, to make this fully automatic, I'm going to need microsecond reg somethings. Regulators, maybe? But I can't craft those. Well, I probably will be able to craft them once I get the requisite skill in the advanced projects, but that's no help right now. That's a shame. A fully automatic version of this would be nice. But still, I've, I've managed to just absolutely boost this thing quite nicely. So, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be too upset. What else were we thinking of changing on this? Internal high... Vo I think high-powered... 
Do more damage. Yep. I also wish to be prepared for. It's a shame. I have never been one to shy away from shouldering my share of a heavy load. Yeah, I'm giving you a lot of weapons that you're probably going to like. It is a shame that I can't make any fully automatic weapons at all until I get those components, which I'm assuming are rare. Kind of annoying. Okay, I've made you a mag pulse as well. These things are pretty damned accurate and do a lot of damage. You're going to need some ammo for this. We don't have a huge amount. Probably should buy more. I thought this one looked pretty good. It's silence. You know, seems a you thing. I'm going to give you your Grendel back. I have increased its damage output quite a lot. That I'm keeping. Um, You don't want that, right? I don't think you're going to want that. Didn't I have more weapons for you than this? I thought I had... Okay. Well, you've got... No, that's in the heavy hopper. Right. Uh, you've got a Grendel, a Kodama, and a Magpulse. That's three weapons. You you wanted three weapons. They're all highly upgraded, and I need to give you some ammo for it. Okay, I don't want to waste ammo, but I really am curious about a couple of things. Right. I'm not going to shoot anything. This is a recon scope. Isn't it supposed to... I thought it was supposed to mark things. Do they have to be within a certain range? Is that what it is? What range are we looking at over there? A hundred meters? Okay. Anyway, this thing now does more damage than it was doing. And I've also made it armor-piercing. It was already silenced. I've just not used it. This now shoots quicker, which is going to be good. This... I've not changed this, which is odd. i tell you what. Okay! I think I changed this to actually have... Oh, no. no, I didn't. I'm using the same barrel. This thing's rock-solid. Compared to this. Alright, okay. Never mind. This I really want to make fully automatic. Okay, I've got spare ammo for this. I wanna I wanna listen to the sound it makes, because I've basically suppressed it. Blowing off some steam. Kind of. There you go, that's suppressed pew pew for you. Which is interesting, isn't it? This, right, this now is a bit of a beast. I've I've upped the damage. It was already armor-piercing, um, and I changed something else. I think I added a better scope. I don't... I can't even remember what I've added to these things. This definitely does more damage, and... Oh, right, yes. I have a new... close-range weapon. I say close-range, it's... Probably okay. Actually, I think the maximum range is about 20 meters. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should have actually modified this more for hip fire. I've, I've modified it for aiming, but maybe I should have modified it for hip fire. Tell you what. I'll make that decision later on. I really think, for now, this is probably going to be my go-to. It's just it's working really well but we've now got a bunch of options when we uh, run into the starborn and i think we just know that that is absolutely going to happen ready for take off in three two one go beautiful day not a cloud in the sky Almost seems a shame to leave. Hmm. Orbital pattern lock. Yep, alright. So, we are heading to Indum 2 to find Unity Pilgrim's final resting place. Okay, and that is... In the Gunabu system? No, it's in the Indum system. We have... Locate a planet with boiled seas ecology. Oh, that was one of the constellation missions we picked up right at the start of all this. 
Yeah, I forgot all about that mission board. In the basement. <laughs> Which I found while looking for my room. Good grief. Oh! And we've got to complete a survey? On Indom somewhere, alright. However, it's definitely Indom we're going to. How are we doing for power? What? What? Why are the engines? Who keeps twiddling with the knobs and settings? Hmm? Every time. We're here. That's nice. All right. It's actually, I didn't need to take that, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. You see mule? Okay, never mind. Right, so, is this the system we're looking for? We just jumped into the system. Actually, I think it might be. It is, right, this is where the Pilgrim's Rest is. There doesn't seem to be anything else on our scanners, and we've not been attacked by Starborn. Okay, pretty strong gravity. And standard oxygen atmosphere. We're going to get a lot of life, probably, and it's probably going to be pretty damn strong compared to us. And we are heading to the Pilgrim's Rest. Which is... Science output. There it is. Let's try to not crash into a giant asteroid before we get there. Standing now. Whoa. Okay. Might be a standard oxygen atmosphere, but apparently it's dusty here. Planet surveys may require to you to explore multiple planet biomes. Try landing at different spots on the planet if you run out of things to scan. Land my... Yeah, yeah. What? what? Okay. My ship is apparently trying to remind me that I'm an explorer. What's on your mind? Uh, the judgment of a ship? Alright, what? Poor quality air sandstorm. Don't get too close to the windows. Alright. Now we're here to find this pilgrim's last resting place. But I have been reminded in multiple ways that we are explorers. So let's just keep that in mind, yeah? Okay. Environmental warnings. Okay, what have we got over there? An unknown life sign. A toad face grazer? Wow, we are so going to need the scanner. All right. My suit warning system is seriously freaking out. All right, we got some structures. We have got Kalus Pokeweed. Milly Whale Filterers. And Uranium. I'm not seeing... Pilgrim's Rest, that's where we're heading. 
Yeah, we can explore the place later on. Right now, as much as I like being reminded that I... What does your scanner reveal? Not a lot in this sandstorm. Actually, that's a lie. It's probably the only reason I know half the things that are walking around us are even there. Yeah. I mean, technically, we're still exploring while looking for the pilgrims. Toad face grazer. That kind of looks hostile to me. So, I say we assume that is in fact the case. I'm still really expecting to run into Starborn. Out here. A dead toad face grazer. Question. What killed it? Uranium all over the place. Hunting trap more. I'm going to assume that is what took those out. Alright. They're quite far away though. Something of interest down. Oh no, the Pilgrim's Rest is over there. I thought this was it. Maybe this is where the Pilgrim landed? Okay. Somebody made a camp here, perhaps? Made a concerted effort to survive here. And yet it would seem it did not work out. Oh. Well, you can't say that for sure. We don't see any signs of life, he says, taking the person's lunch. Okay. So it was like a building? I assumed it was going to be a single... I, I, for some reason, I just thought it was going to be a grave. They'd come here to die, but I guess they came here to just live for a while and then die. And people don't just arrive and dig a hole and lie in it. I don't know why I thought that, to be honest. But it looks like it's still lived in. Okay. I'm looking... Did I hear something? No, it does not look lived in, does it? It looks quite the opposite of lived in. Alright, I don't even know what will... Pilgrim's writing for... Microsecond... I need one of those! So we've got Pilgrim's Writing 3 and 4 are here. And yes, I want to read them in order. Call me crazy. Alright, we've got 3 and 4 out here. A red book. Pilgrim's Writing 2. Okay. There is... You know, I don't think the Starborn are here. I don't know... why I assumed they would be. Mostly because they're always one step ahead of us, yeah? 
But it doesn't seem like... Well, you would have imagined if they'd been here, they would have taken those writings, assuming they were here for the same reason I am. Not assume anything. I mean, it still looks operational, doesn't it? Access the locked room. Pilgrim's writing five. All right. We've now found four, but we've not found the first one. Yes, I absolutely want to read them in order. Call me insane. Ah. Uh, Hilgrim's writing one. Before we open the door. Pilgrim's writing one. The credulous simplicity of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them. But I remember that I am privy to, to that which they are not. This pilgrim seems to be writing as though he were not human. Is that just a style of writing? Is he mad as a hatter? Does he see himself as a being above the rest of humanity? Or is he, in fact, an alien? I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision when I know they... I know very well the blinders which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself after all. I hope for their sake that they may someday understand, but for my sake I wish to be left alone. Okay. I say he sounds more like somebody who is human, but has sort of grown a little fed up with them. Yeah? Okay, well, that was number one. Let's go read two, three, and four, and then come back and read five. Okay, I dab How did I manage to go the wrong way? 180 degrees in the wrong way. I'd blame the sandstorm, but honestly, there's just no explaining that one. Right, this was number... Two. So here is the crux of my troubles. To accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance, I need workers, I need hands. As we work together, they inevitably ask questions, and I can never help talking. It starts innocently enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine. Or they have their own misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try, gently as I might, to nudge their minds along the right path. Then there are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care for these people. It would be much easier if I didn't. Yeah. No one ever said it was easy caring about people, but you know. That's, well, a sign that it's important. If it was easy, probably wouldn't be that important. Okay. Just wondering if I've missed anything. Right, now that's four. This was three. Okay. Today, in a soft voice, my assistant asked me if there was anything above the unity. It was all I could do to keep from shouting that I could scarcely comprehend the misunderstanding that would lead to such a question. It was asked, honestly, and I answered it as best as I could. But if even my closest confidant here can fail to grasp the most basic of these truths, why am I bothering to explain any of it to them anyway? Uh, sorry, explain any of it to any of them. Every word, word that drops from my mouth gets gobbled up, misheard, misremembered, misunderstood, and mistranslated before I can issue the slightest clarification. People are necessary, but people are madness. I attempted to withdraw and go off alone, to commune with unity in my own way. They followed, of course. They, they followed, of course they followed. Yeah. 
for signs that we've missed anything. Four. At last, a bit of peace. A bit of peace, is that anything? Is that funny? Why am I trying to be funny? Have they driven me mad at last? Is there a difference between writing to myself and talking to myself? The former certainly seems more acceptable than the latter. That's true, actually, isn't it? Hmm. You talk to yourself, you're a madman. Worryingly enough. I recall again that my mind is my own, and that even if it only ex if only it exists, that is sufficient for me to believe in everything else. The unity has restored me once more. This time I act alone, for now. Myself is a formidable opponent. I should have expected as much, but vanity is, thankfully, not among my vices. <laughs> um, unfortunately, that sentence almost seems self-refuting. Regardless, it turns out time spent in solitude is, in my case, time with a very sick man. Or what, whatever it is I have become. I don't like this person. Okay. Was he changing this unity? Did it... Hmm. Alright, let's get inside that door now. See if I can remember how the hell to get in the building without going round and round in circles. It was on the other side here, right? Yes, it was. Okay. Oh, and we still have... I think we can assume that the Pilgrim is long gone and won't really mind too much if we I am -nt, or is that armed? I am nut. I am not crazy. Okay. If you have to write a post-it note and stick it on your bathroom window, reminding you that you're not crazy, you're probably crazy. Just saying. I kind of need that. Believe it or not. All right. What? Fancy compass. Could that be important? I don't think it is. Okay, Pilgrim's Writing 5. I find myself thinking about his various pasts and my possible futures. I imagine continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. I imagine passing through once more to another world to begin the process anew. What is notable here, that that road does seem gratifying. Every step is one of intrinsic reward, and I feel myself anticipating the pleasures and seeing a more contented version of myself in that future. Then, for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeking to gather my own power, if instead embraced the twinges of compassion I feel in my heart, and let myself care for the people who seem to gather about me wherever I try to work. If I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died, that road also seems gratifying. I also see a contented version of myself in that future. Here is the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There is something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I am grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. Okay. He's definitely giving off a... I'm going to end up being a bad guy kind of vibe, isn't he? Alright, let's try and get in here. Pilgrim's Computer. Unlock Personal Root. If you came seeking the right answers, you will know what question to ask. What are you talking about? How do I open this door? What? Where's the food? What is the unity? If you came seeking the right answers, you will know what question to ask. See, the obvious one is what is the unity, right? But I kind of want to ask... The thing is, is, I can't help but wonder. He, he, he 
was really annoyed by the questions they kept asking him. It was like they didn't understand. So maybe I should just ask the direct question. How do I open this door? Return when you know the right question. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where's the food? <laughs> All right, fine. Fine. I'll ask the question, what is the unity? I return your question with a question. If you've read my writings, what is the burden of people? People are necessary, but people are madness. They're too heavy. People gotta go on <laughs> No, no, no. People are necessary, but people are madness. Who is your most formidable opponent? Myself. Where does enduring contentment come from? In growing, becoming better, stronger, a nice cool drink on a warm day, in stopping, in embracing compassion. No. For him, it was in growing, becoming better and stronger. This is an answer, but it is not my answer. Wait, 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 for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, I stopped running, s stopped seeking to gather my own power. If I instead embraced twinges of compassion I feel in my heart and let myself care for the people who seem to gather about me wherever I tried to work. If I simply lived and taught, perhaps brought others to the light and died. That road also seems gratifying. I also see a contented version of myself in that future. Here is the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, pleasures fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. So, it seemed to be saying that, like, well, he, he, he is content at this vision, but it fades. Okay. Let's... Unlock personal room. Yes, what is unity? People are necessary. Madness. Myself. Where does enduring content come from? Well, I mean, it seems like this made him content, but it didn't endure. Okay, in stopping, in embracing compassion. I am very confused by your fifth writing. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I find my own answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you peace. Sorry, the truth. Why do I think peace? Because I'm not at peace. I'm very much not at peace with myself. Um... I see a contented version of myself, so that's contentment. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. Oh, is he not talking about the contentment? When I stop thinking about staying and building something, that feel feeling endures. So when he stops thinking of staying and embracing the twinges of... I am obviously misunderstanding his fifth writing because I still get the feeling that he was saying it's not an enduring contentment. That is the feeling I'm getting. Pilgrim's final writing. What else did we have? That is not a... Did, did, did something happen to you? I got lung damage for some odd reason when looking at a food tray. Tracker's Primer. Permanently increased ballistic weapon damage by 5%. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Nothing. 
anything else of interest in here? All right, I think this is what we came for. Ear grub paperweight. That's an ear grub? How is that getting in your ear? Okay, Pilgrim's final writing. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world, in this time, the more I think it's precisely where I need to be. I guess maybe he was talking about all those feelings, but he did end up staying here, right? He did end up staying in one place. So maybe that's how he found enduring content. Um, contentment. This time will be different. It won't be about me, so I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It can be something beneficial. It can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe before me. I have found the end of my journey. But to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Hyla too, the island hides the scorpion, and the scorpion's sting hides the truth. I'm guessing this is a star system. Hyla too will be the second planet. So... He was talking about different versions of himself, and he was saying that one of them gave contentment, but it, it was fleeting. But apparently... He did exactly the thing that was supposed to give him the fleeting contentment, and it gave him actual contentment. There is still a mystery here. And yes, I'm still waiting to be attacked. Your abilities are truly amazing. Alright. Yeah, am I am I really paranoid? I am really paranoid, aren't I? I am. Okay. He was a very complicated person by the looks of things. But now we need to find the scorpion sting on Hyla 2. And Hyla 2 is Ho K. Hyla is a bit of a hike. 